Hello, my name is Lucy Snow and I'm a student at the University of Reading studying English Literature. This screencast is going to talk to you about Stars by Emily Bronte and I hope that it will be helpful for those of you who are studying Emily Bronte or indeed the poem itself. Emily Bronte was born in 1818 and died in 1848. Uh, Bronte was an English poet and novelist during the Victorian period. She lived in a remote village on the wild Yorkshire moors and had little contact with the outside world. Her poetry was significantly shaped by her experience of what it was to be a woman in the 19th century England. Women were typically confined in the domestic space and regarded as angels of the home in this patriarchal society. They traditionally followed strict customs such as being sexually pure, silent and passive. Victorian female poets engaged with the imagination to escape their social restrictions. So the poem itself uh, was written in 1845 and stars as a dramatic monologue which conveys a female speaker's feelings, emotions and desires. There are 12 stanzas with an irregular rhyming scheme which has an occasional A-B-A-B -A -B pattern. The speaker is alone during the night time in her bedroom and the private interior setting and this dark hour symbolises a sexually charged woman recalling her experience with a lover. So from this context and these ideas we can come up with this sexual desire theme. So the sentence, all through the night your glorious eyes were gazing down in mine and the lover's penetrating gaze reflects their sexual intimacy. Eyes are traditionally seen as windows to the soul, representing the two lovers as deeply connected soulmates. The speaker's inner thoughts promotes a sexual desire for her lover to return and fulfil this passionate fantasy. So other words like throb and thrill uh, are erotic and reflect an excitable craving for this physical sensation and they also have connotations of the heart and love. So there's another theme of desire and that's the desire to escape and the night time represents the speaker's escapism into her se sensual imagination, her mental interior space. So thought followed thought, star followed star, and this arguably represents her excitable thought which generates a sexual awakening and a dizzy pleasure. This section depicts female masturbation because the spinning stars symbolise an endless orgasm, journeying the speaker to a sexual euphoria. However, the aggressive arrival of the sun portrays the speaker's desire to voyage back into the comforting darkness. Blood red he rose, an arrow straight, his fierce beams struck my brow, and the personified masculine sun represents the patriarchal society the speaker desires to escape. The sunlight parallels the power of dominating men because this beaming spotlight enters the domestic setting of this confined woman. So, blinding reality. If we look at the poem, we can see that it's divided into two sections, the comforting darkness and the hostile light. Bronte's use of light and dark imagery emphasises how the violent dawn presents the reality of female oppression burning away the dark creativity. Desire is presented sexually, mentally and socially in the poem, highlighting the social position of women, but also how Bronte was breaking the interpretation that Victorian women had pure minds. So a few critics' interpretations. Tess Coslip said that Emily Bronte's poem criticised conventional Victorian femininity and Robin Grove stated how the poem is preoccupied with yearning and the extent to which emotion is not at home in the ordinary world. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped with your understanding of Emily Bronte's poem, Stars.